This is the trim piece. Finally, got this, um, that section I'll clean up to where it's passable for now. I'm going to put the trims back together and obviously fix these wires. These are all, this green one is for my VTEC wire. I gotta hook it up to the solenoid. Clean the inside of the car, vacuum it out, and then once everything's back together, I'll be a little, I'll feel a little bit more complete. It's starting to look like something. Still gotta clean up that mess over there tomorrow, so just gotta clean out the car, move all this junk out of the way, and then it just start looking like a like an automobile again. And as usual, I misplaced the cover of here and I have to redo the the horn. So I'm just trying to get the alignment semi straight. So I'm trying to get the alignment straight. So what I'm trying to do is I'm using the angle finder to basically try to put it here and play with the camera to see if I get the camera to match on both sides. So right now it's roughly 2.4. Do the same on the other side and see if we get it to match up. Yeah, I can see this one is way more in. So yeah, so that's nowhere close to what it was before on the other side. The other side was two point something. This is nine. So I might have to take a whole bunch out. And I also did the same method to try to fit, figure out the toe to get the toe in a little bit in more on that side. So it came out pretty decent. Still got a little bit of camera to take out from the top, but for right now, that should be enough to be able to drive it. This side looks like I need to push out the top a little bit more. But I think it's good enough as a test driver to get it to the alignment shop. So little by little, starting to put this thing back together, starting to look at the car, put the fender on, get all line the wheels. So now this is more or less in place. And that's this side. So I gotta probably roll the fenders a little bit so I could bring this out a little bit more. And that should take care of this whole quote unquote suspension thing. Or I might even have to, I don't know, lower the wheels or whatever, but I can fix that now. got a few more things to take care of but it's enough to do the base basically it's like a pre boost base map so it has a little boost in it not too crazy but as you can see every time I try to get in with a cup boost so I have to figure out what that problem is 
and you know clean up a few things I have to hook up the speed sensor there have to be a ground I have to hook up I have to hook that up clean it up um, fix this portion right here because it's interfering when I hit the pedal and just some light cleaning up doing a good alignment on it and I think that should help it oh the oil pan is leaking again so right now we're just test driving the car trying to figure out what's going on with the idle the RPM is jumping so I don't know what's going on there I gotta figure that out um, everything is driving but then when I'm driving it has like boost cut and stuff like that so it starts acting crazy so I'm gonna drive it show you guys what's going on and what I gotta deal with and figure out what the issue is so, so that ha had a little boost, but it didn't shut down. So I'm just playing around and see what happens at this point. Uh, there's still issues with this car that I gotta figure out before I'm comfortable with it. But so far, the suspension is working. I just need better coilovers because these are stiff. So what I did is I swapped ECU with a stack of cord one that I had. This is just to check if the code still shows up. Because if it still shows up with a stack of ECU, then that means it is in fact the distributor. If not, if the code goes away and I start the car and there's no issues, then this means the computer is bad. So. Okay, so checking your light still stays on. I live inside my own world of make believe.